find the river oh. in the forest, or the only river you need is in the forest, is that referring to just a forest? Or is that referring to the library? And then going back to save her. That would be interesting. Could this be something they're setting up for the 50th anniversary, which is only, what, when three I years away? When I could see him off at, and this is one of the reasons I was so glad he became the showrunner, because he's so good at pulling other stuff. Yeah, I know. And, and you're going back and you're like, wow, this connects way over here to yeah. something you never even thought of. I know. So I could really see Moffat wanting to do it because those were two of his most brilliant episodes. Yeah. Were I mean, and I mean, that would be a great, because I mean, we don't know at what point we're going, because I mean, we're going the opposite direction in River's timeline. Yeah. So I mean, we have time with River. So if we get to the point where she's too young or something, we can always go to that moment in time, especially it'd be great for 50th anniversary because we know we're still going to have Matt there. From what Matt says, he wants to stay at least until the 50th anniversary, yeah. unless he changes his mind. Um, Please don't. Uh, that would be a that would be an amazing uh, story to see them yeah. going back and rescuing River. But how would they keep her? From, well, I mean, I guess if she's a time lord, she could regenerate, she regenerate. Or this is the Doctor in a different incarnation. He's older, wiser, maybe. Um, but you know, there's there's a chance. I mean, there's always a chance to always rescue somebody. Or could I mean even I don't know. We don't know what prison River is staying in. She could be. It could be. It's um. What was it? They they've actually said. It? Okay. Yeah, it's like the, the only storm river. gate or something or, or or something storm. They say they say it in the two parter the Weeping Angels two parter. Okay. Um, they actually name the prison she's at. Um. Yeah, I think it's interesting that the prison and the last time. They saw her, and then she kissed the doctor, and it was kind of like, "Oh, you haven't done this." Yeah. And I thought that was really interesting because it's. He freaked out. I know that's hilarious. Yeah. But I thought it was interesting because she seemed really shocked. Yeah. So I kind of wonder. She's been so good at spoilers, and she's always yeah. like, um, and they kind of keep track of what's happened, and for her to not realize they hadn't done that yet. That was kind of interesting to me. But what if there are two doctors running around right now? That's true. Because you gotta remember the one said he's been on the run for a long time. I mean, we could take that as face value that it's he's just referring to his William Hartnell, or could this be another doctor that's been running from the other doctor? So she might have had a relationship with the but doctor how, that dies. But how get two doctors? I mean, outside of how we got you know the doctor. You mean two? Well, what about two doctors right now? We have the plastic one, and we have this one. But then in River Timeline, it always could have been the plastic doctor. We but don't know. Put that, but I'm trying to like match up when that would have happened for River, based on. See, we don't get River's timeline. We just see everything from the doctor's perspective. We're not seeing River's perspective yet. Though, I mean, it would be interesting to see a River-centric episode, piecing her entire history with the doctor together. Yeah. So we could sort of get that. I don't know. I just don't see them keeping the plastic doctor. I don't see him keeping him after the second episode either. But he might go. He might run. Cause, but he'll. Mm, I don't know. That's hard. I know. I, I that's mean, what I love about Moffat. I, yeah. I never try to figure out a season until Moffat, because Moffat is just weaving stuff mm -hmm. in and out of the entire story. You yeah. just never know where he's going to take you next. And I think that's amazing with the storytelling. He ran, reminds me a lot of Straczynski or Josh Whedon, where something happened in season one is relevant in season yeah. six. And then he knows what he's going to do. He, he's yeah. got a plan. I mean, if you think they referred back to something that happened with the first episode with Matt Smith, yeah. um, the silence, where they mentioned the silence yeah. to him when he's regenerating. And I was like, Wow, that was a long time ago. Well, if you think about it, he, they almost, in this last two-parter, or I mean this, the first half of this two-parter with the living plastic, the doctor seems like he knows what this stuff is. Yeah. I mean, and that's going all the way back to Rose, you know, the first episode of New Who. Yeah. You know, where he defeats the living plastic. But this seems a little different from that, though, because it's more... Yeah, but... With, it takes on the memories and... But with the, with the way he paused and stuff like yeah. that, just kind of like... He didn't want to answer the question. He just kind of just kept. He paused for a long time. Well, and I also just wondered like, if it was another sort of like Earth screw up, you know, because he always seems to oh, you humans keep doing stupid things, and just he knows that in the future or whenever there's a timeline where the flesh takes over. Yeah, and I, I, I think he's regretting killing the the plastic life form. 
Because, I mean, it was his fault that they lost their planet anyway because of the Time War. I mean, yeah. he, he has a very heavy heart about that. I, 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 think, they're, I think that's where the tie-in's going to be. Because we don't even know what century we're in right now. Yeah. All we know is Dusty Springfield. <laughs> and acid suits and living flesh. They have not given us yeah. an actual and date. Even the computer systems seem... I don't know. They're very good at, I think, doing very futuristic things. Yeah. And this is not... I mean, it's futuristic, but it's not so super yeah. futuristic that you're like, oh, this is definitely... Like new New York. Exactly, I know what you mean. Um, what do you think, like, with Rory and this girl, he keeps kind of going after? Oh, in this past episode, it really bothered me. Yeah. Because Rory did not seem like Rory. Or is this a natural That's... progression of what's happened to him in the past? Well, like... I kept wondering is this a, a flesh Rory who's able to like a I... girl so he can. He knows he's not the real Rory, so he's like, well, I like her, so... I wonder that, too, if there's not another Rory and Amy out there. But I'm wondering, because in Curse, Curse of, the, of the Black Spot, you know, he died, but trusted Amy to bring him back. In the next one, he was heartbroken that he could not save Idris's life. And in this one, you know, he's willing to risk his own life in order to save another life. I mean, it just seems too much too fast. I mean, are they trying to set Rory up to be very heroic? So when... Possibly River kills him, or somebody else, you know, yeah. is this, I, I don't know, something seems off with Rory right now. Yeah, because I love Rory, like, he's been one of my favorite characters, and actually part of the only reason I can sometimes put up with Amy is because of Rory. Oh, I love Amy! <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Amy. Um, uh, I don't know, I, she's just so, I don't, there's something well, about she's her. She's interesting, like, but. But she's a ginger. I know, Donna was too. Yeah. By far and above for her Donna. I love Donna a lot too. She, yeah. I mean, when I first saw Donna in the in the two in, in the Christmas special, didn't really care for her. Yeah. Same. But partners in crime, oh my god, I was yeah. sold. And then also seeing the little short the two of them did for uh, Red yeah. Nose, oh that was amazing. Yes. The last like three episodes of season four, I just cry a little bit. Oh, I mean, <laughs> Left Turn. Yes. Oh, that phenomenal episode. Which is, I think, what they're gonna have to do with River. I think we're gonna have to have a River type episode where we get to see everything from her her timeline, her perspective. Well, I think especially if she's killing someone important, whether it's the Doctor or Rory or somebody else we're familiar with, yeah. then we're going to have to understand why did she get there, what pushed her there. Exactly. Or else we're just going to either really hate her or really not understand why a character, we lost yeah. a character. Well, I, I know that, I mean, if the, if the timeline and everything holds true, the season the season break is the where she kills the person. By the end of the season, we know who she is. Yeah. Hopefully. And they don't tend to, I mean, I'm trying to think, how, do they, how does Who usually end seasons? I mean, seasons are usually pretty much wrapped up. Well, it, it's never been like this before. I mean, because Moffat didn't wrap up his season. That's true. And we, we better get the episode with them on the Orient Express tracing down that Egyptian, go Egyptian goddess. I was so upset when the Christmas special wasn't that, or the opening of the season wasn't like that, because I really want that adventure. Yeah. I want to see, because that just sounds like an amazing, amazing yeah. adventure. It could, I mean, it could happen. I think Moffat, he tends to drop the little things in and pull them up later, so. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not worried. You know, you know it's partway Moffat's fault that we got who back. Why is that? It's a good thing. Oh, it's a phenomenal thing. Um, <laughs> hey, hey, have you ever seen Curse of the Fatal Death? Um, it's the comedy special with Roy Atkinson as the doctor. I don't think so, no. Okay. Well, it was a, it, they did another one of the comedy things to raise, to raise money, um, based, and Roy Atkinson plays the doctor and a bunch, with a, a bunch of other famous people because they go through this super a bunch of deaths all in a row type of thing at the end of it. Um, it was the highest rating... Uh, charity special of all time for them, oh. and they're like, wow, we could bring Who back tomorrow, and it would be a hit for us. They just didn't know how they were going to do it, so they did a few things before they actually relaunched the series mm -hmm. with Davies. What I didn't know until literally last year, Moffat wrote Curse of the Fatal Death. He okay. was the person behind the entire thing. Okay. So without Moffat doing that, we may not have had Who come back. So, I mean, that's, but, like, that's sad. I know, it's extremely sad. I mean, I think Who, who fans... I mean, I'm glad he wrote it, yeah. but sad to think that, that it took that for them to realize just how, how well, much people still love Who. Well, I mean, at the time when they, when, they, when they were trying to actively kill off the show, I mean, they didn't care. Yeah. And then when they got Sylvester in there and they got uh, Aunt Sophie Aldred, who's also at Timegate, um, they started realizing how much people loved Who, yeah. but it was too little too late. 
Yeah. And so, you know, it got put on the shelf, then that special happened, and then, you know, the rest of you can say is history. Um, and we also that god-awful TV movie. I mean, it, it has some magical moments in it. I mean, but when they mentioned the doctor was half-human, I was just like, oh, really? Why did you do that? But, yeah. but it's been justified to the fans. I mean, he's not half-human. It's just the fact that he was next to a human when he regenerated and he loved her so much. Something there caused him to regenerate half-human. So we say. Yeah, it's like, okay, guys. Y'all just pulled that one out of here. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, I I was I mean when they announced that Moffat would be taking oh, over the show, I, was, I, just, I was thrilled. And I I gotta say I've been rewatching everything again, and it just amazes me how good not only the Moffat episodes were like during Davies' run, but just the two seasons of Matt Smith we Matt Smith we've had. I mean the yeah. storytelling I think just went to another level. Yeah. I think production value went to another level. I mean of course they also went to high def. But it, just, it seems like they just started putting so much more into well, the show. Well, even getting someone like Neil Gaiman to write an episode, which has been one of my favorite by far. I mean, getting someone oh, yeah. like him to write an episode, like reaching out and saying, hey, you know, why don't you do a long time You know how again. long it took him to write that episode? Two years? Yeah, I know. And then they were, they wanted it last season, but they hit, they couldn't afford it. Yeah. And I gotta say, that was probably one, I mean, you could just tell that's one of the most expensive episodes. Yeah. I mean, it... And they even, I was reading Neil Gaiman's blog, and he said they had to rewrite two scenes because budget wouldn't afford it. Yeah. Well, I mean, they couldn't do his alien he wanted in there, so they did the Ood instead. Yeah. They just could not afford it. Yeah. But, I mean, it was, it was Neil Gaiman's love, love, love letter to Who. Um, yeah. And I think it's one of the most brilliant episodes in New Who so far. I mean... Though it did bother me that he said Time Lords could change the gender, but then again, of course, the Doctor's the one that said that, and we all know things to River, the Doctor lies, or long-time watchers, viewers, you know yeah. the Doctor lies, so I'm just chalking up to the Doctor just lying and messing with Amy and Roy, that yeah. they could change sexes. Just to be like, hey, Because that would totally destroy Amy if yeah. one day the Doctor came to her as a female. She would, she not would be gonna, like, what? She, would, she would be able to handle that. No. She would beat him until he became a male. Yeah, she's like, you can, I'm gonna kill you until you come back. Exactly. She, she would, she would have nothing to do with that. Um, I keep kind of wondering if they were gonna say anything about um, Sarah Jane, because I felt like, I don't know. I mean, I know they filmed a lot of the episodes, but I kept hoping somehow, somewhere, they just reshoot something, put a little something in there about. Uh, I'm only bet if they're gonna do that, it's gonna be in the, in the second half of the season after they air the Sarah Jane Smith adventures because they filmed yeah. half that season. So I don't think they want to say anything in, in Who until that happens, um, which is I what think, I'm hoping. I, th I think she deserves a mention. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, after that thing that they did, I mean, I was bawling that, that yes. special they did. Yes. I mean, I was devastated for two weeks. I'm just now, like, I'm cool. Yeah.